Hello and welcome to Jacket Education Channel. I am Zaki Ahmed and this is third part of this environmental chemistry which is acid rain. So those who are new, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. First of all, what is acid rain? Before knowing into the acid rain, we should know that normal rain water is also acidic. Yes, normal rain water is also slightly acidic because the carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere gets dissolved in the water to form a weak acid known as carbonic acid. So that's what makes the normal rainwater acidic with the pH of 5.6. And we know that in pH scale, when the pH is less than 7, it is acidic and when it is above 7, it is alkaline. So this reaction says how the normal rainwater is acidic. When water molecule reacts with carbon dioxide gas, it forms carbonic acid, hence it is acidic. But when we will call a normal rainwater an acidic rainwater. When the pH is low as low as 2.4, it is called as acid rain because the pollutants that are gaseous pollutants like sulfur dioxides and nitrogen dioxides present in the atmosphere when mixed with the precipitation they form the acid rain. This combination makes three different types of acids those are basically sulfuric acid, nitric acid and hydrochloric acid. How this mechanism happens? In this photograph we can see that the oxides of nitrogen and sulfur dioxide released from the industries or the automobiles when are carried away by the wind mix with the rain water and then when the precipitation falls on the ground this acid part after the reaction of the oxides of nitrogen and sulfur with the water forms falls on the ground and then it creates problems and damages the aquatic life the animals the plants and the monuments so it kills the plant life pollutes rivers streams and erodes stonework so we will see that the process works as we know the sulfuric acid is formed in the presence of sulfur dioxide when it reacts with water. So what happens is sulfur when reacting with the oxygen molecules in atmosphere it forms sulfur dioxide. Or the normal sulfur dioxide released from the factories and the industries reacts with oxygen molecule and the water molecule to form the sulfuric acid. Hence this is the method how sulfuric acid is formed in the rainwater. Similarly. In case of formation of nitric acid, what happens is when nitrogen oxide reacts with ozone molecule, it forms nitrogen dioxide and oxygen molecule. And then step by step when these oxides of nitrogen reacts with ozone and oxygen molecule, subsequently they form nitric acid as their final product. So N2O5 with water gives the final product that is nitric acid to form the acid rain part. Effects of acid rain. Acid rain is harmful for the aquatic life as it falls as rain and it is destroying all the aquatic bodies whether it is marine or fresh water. It increases the acidity in water bodies. Hence, some of the organisms who are giving eggs as to continue their regeneration are affected because the hatching ratio changes because the morphological and physiological changes happen in the ecosystem which affects the hatching process. Similarly, it is also harmful to vegetation. Yes, acid rain increases the acidity in soil and it can also directly affect the leaves of the tree by creating brown spots and then hence affecting the photosynthesis. Similarly, when the photosynthesis is affected, then the herbivorous organisms which are dependent on the vegetation, plants and trees, they are also indirectly affected. So it is also harmful for the animals depending on the vegetation. Similarly, it accelerates the weathering process that is in metals and stone structures like Taj Mahal in Agra, the acid rain weathers the material and it also affects our life that is human health is also affected by the acid rain. Respiratory problems like asthma, dry coughs, headaches and throat irritations are seen where acid rain happens. And this leaching of toxins from the soil by acid rain can be observed by the plants and animals. 
then can be passed from one tropic level to another hence it is affected in every tropic level and the serious damages to the human health by the acid rain is the damage to the brain kidney problems alzheimer's disease and it can be linked to the people eating too toxic animals and plants so that means when these animals or plants are affected by acid rain when the people are consuming them so they are also consuming the harmful substances the pictures depicting the visible effects of acid rain on monuments you can see whitening of the monuments here and taj mahal the marble is deteriorating day by day so one of the factory was nearby taj mahal and it was affecting badly on the taj mahal so one of the petition was formed and then the factory was moved to other place and now taj mahal is somewhat safe so how to prevent acid rain we can prevent acid rain from some of the activities which we are doing in our daily lives like reducing the amount of sulfur dioxide and oxides of nitrogen so how can we reduce the sulfur dioxide and oxides of nitrogen by using less energy hence less fuel will be consumed so if we are burning less fuel so less amount of sulfur and nitrogen oxides will be released so acid rain chances will be less and if we are using cleaner fuels also like removing oxides of sulfur and oxides of nitrogen then that can be also helpful to prevent acid rain some of the technologies to prevent the release of oxides of nitrogen and sulfur dioxide are desulfurization technique in which sulfur is desulfurized and the sulfur dioxide is not released in that much quantity which will be harmful for the environment and use of catalytic converters also helps to release less oxides of nitrogen and sulfur in our fuels so other sources of energy you can use like nuclear power hydroelectricity wind energy solar energy and geothermal energy to prevent acid rain formation in our atmosphere so these are some of the few things which we can do to prevent acid rain so that's all for today's lesson stay tuned for the upcoming classes and don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel